With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Our question is: Which of the following on partial hydrolysis gives xenon oxy difluoride? Okay, so to find the answer to this question, we'll do the partial hydrolysis of each compound given in these options. Firstly, we will do the partial hydrolysis hydrolysis of xenone difluoride. Xenone difluoride plus H two O. On partial hydrolysis, it will give xenone plus hydrogen fluoride plus half O two. Second, xenone tetrafluoride on partial hydrolysis, it will give xenone oxy difluoride. Plus two hydrogen fluoride. Next, partial hydrolysis of xenone hexa fluoride gives xenone oxy tetra fluoride plus two hydrogen fluoride. Next, partial hydrolysis of xenone oxy tetra fluoride gives xenone dioxide difluoride plus Two hydrogen fluoride. So, from the given option, correct option will be xenone tetrafluoride. Xenone tetrafluoride on partial hydrolysis it will give xenone oxy difluoride. So, correct option is option two. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.